Welcome everyone. Glad to have you back. For all you new peoples, thank you for joining me. And if you like the contents that I put out and you like to see more of my videos, hit that like, the subscribe, and that notification bell to get notified when new videos come out. Today I'm demonstrating how to put together a three feet by three feet by six feet tent by Mars Hydro. So stick, stick along with me and I'm going to demonstrate how we put this tent together right after I give a shout out to my sponsors. Mars. First we want to start out with the user menu. We're going to look through the menu until we find the tent size that we have. In this case, it's 100 by 100 by 180 centimeters and then we're going to follow the instructions first on the instructions we want to locate all the parts and make sure we have everything that we need we want to make sure that we have all the materials and in the manual it says we have a tent cloth one tent cloth right there b floor tray we got one floor tray there. C, filter straps, and we have two filter straps. D, eight corner adapters. E through J, which is the framework support. So for the framework support, we have eight framework support labeled E, four framework support labeled F, or framework support labeled G, one framework support labeled H, and a second framework support labeled J. So there you have it. We have all the parts there. And also we have an extra accessory here. This little handy downy pouch that you can hang on the outside and put all your necessary tools in and food. Now that we have made sure that we have everything that we needed that's included in the package. Now we want to follow the steps of putting this tent together. The main you say, set up the tent frame according to the alphabetical order. First, we want to take the corner adapter label D. And just so you know, if you look here at the bottom of the corner adapter, there's a little plastic piece at the bottom. That's how you know that's the bottom of the corner D adapter. So all of the bottoms will have that black plastic piece at the bottom. And that lets you know that's the bottom. So it will sit up like that. So you want to take that corner adapter and connect it to a, a E subframe support. We have a D corner adapter and an E subframe support, and we want to connect them together just by sliding them in, pushing the button, and making sure the button pops out of the hole on the corner adapter. And once you do, it should look like this. The next step is you want to take another D corner adapter and attach it to the other end of the E frame support. Once you connect both corner adapters to the E framework support, it should look like this. Next, you wanna take another E framework support and connect it to the end of the D corner adapter. Once you do that, it should look like this. Then you want to take two more E framework supports and two more corner adapters and connect them until it forms a square. Once you're done, you should have a square like this. They should all be connected in a square. And to make it easier, this is the bottom. The top will be exactly the same way. 
So what you want to do is do the same thing for the top. Once you're done, you should have the top and bottom like this, both of them forming a square using the D corner adapters and the E framework supports. Now that we have the bottom and the top form, now you want to take the F framework support and add them to the D corner adapters. When you connect the F framework support to the D corner adapter, it should look like this. And then you want to continue and put the other three in each of the D corner adapters. When you're done, the outcome should look like this. Next step is you want to take the G framework support and add them to the end of the F framework support. Once you've added the G to the F framework support, they should look like this. Next step is to take the top of the tent and add them to the end of the G framework support. Make sure you connect them to the D corner adapters. And the outcome, you should have a complete frame. So we now have a complete frame, just how the manual demonstrates. Step two, it says, place the tent frame horizontally. We just have laid the frame down horizontally, and now we're gonna follow the next step. Step three, Cover the tent frame with the tent cloth. One, you want to open the tent cloth and then you want to place the cloth over the frame while it's laying down horizontal. And once you put the tent cloth over the frame, it should look like this. This is how it looks. Once you put the tin cloth on the frame, then you want to be gentle with it. Although this mylar is very strong and it's pretty thick and tough, you still want to be cautious when you put it on so to make sure you don't rip it and cause any light leaks. Now that we have the cloth on the tent, we want to zip up the bottom to finish it up. We got the tent all zipped up, except for the door here. Now that we got the tent standing vertically, next step is you want to take the framework support F and J and put them here on the top to help support your lights. So we got the framework support F and J set in. Now you can put them either way you want. I got mine going from front to back, but you can set them side to side. You can space them out as far as you want or as close as you want, depending on how you want to hang your light and whatever accessories that you want to add in here. The final step is you want to take your floor tray and add it to the bottom. Now, on the corner of your floor tray, you have these little Velcro straps, which goes around your framework support, and then easily stick right there, so to help keep your floor tray secured and on the floor. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I've laid the floor tray in. I didn't strap it because this tent is not going to sit here. I'm going to move it to another place. And just for demonstration purposes, 
I added the TS-1000, but I will not be using the TS-1000 in this tent. I'm actually gonna be using the FC-3000 in this tent. And this is how you set up this tent. The Mars Hydro 3x3x6 three by three by feet tent. Or 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters by 180 centimeters. Now that we have this tent all together and put together, next thing to do is to go. And if you're interested in any of these products that Mars Hydro have to offer, down below in the description is a link to take you to their website. And also, for a discount, you can use my promo code, the one one vlog, and receive a discount. So go down in the description below, check the link, and check out more Mars Hydro products that they have to offer. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on how to set up the Mars Hydro three feet by three feet by six feet tent. And if you did enjoy this video and if you would like to see other videos and more contents like these hit the like the subscribe the notification bell and the share button and thank you for watching